just to go. So not just for uh, retopology, this quadra tool can be used in this way as well. It's uh, just a small tidbit of information. I hope that you guys find it useful. So yeah, some places you might feel like, oh, the edges still aren't matching up. What am I supposed to do here? Don't panic. Uh, there's a way to match them and I'm, I'm going to show you that hopefully in this video or maybe the next, but I'm going to cover that. So don't worry about it too much. So I'm just smoothing out these places over here, just get those really nice edge flows. Move this up a bit, and yeah. Move this one down a bit, this one a bit downwards, and pressing shift and just left mouse button dragging. Thank you. 
so yeah it's pretty easy to fix right and just like that we already have a base for our shirt these are a bit too close together so we're going to move them apart So just to jump out of it, you just press the uh, W key and it'll jump out of that tool. And then we're going to turn off Make Live. I'm going to jump to uh, the skirt, straighten these edges out. Isolate the selection. Going to uh, our channel box, delete history because we don't need that history. Isolate it again. You can see that these edges over here, we're just going to grab those. Press the X key to snap it right in the middle. We've got like a merging point coming up over here. And press Control D on our keyboard and the X scale. We're just gonna press minus one and these transformations on that again. Now we have like a duplicate of it on both sides. We can combine that to the history again. Drag it right in the middle again and merge those for chickseeds. So, check if these vertices have been merged. Just press the 3 key and voila, no problems at all. So, we've got a base shirt going on right about now. Might have to move it like since a lot of it is clipping even on the value that we gave like 0 0.3 it's still clipping a lot so what we can do is can turn on symmetry go into sculpting that's the one key and just move this out of it start moving it press the b key to uh, scale your brush up and down For the shoulders, we kind of need like more height over here, like this, because uh, the dress is kind of built that way. And I'm gonna have to smooth it at least once for a uh, more topology. Is, uh, we're lacking a lot of topology right now, which is why it's clipping a lot. But otherwise, it's a uh, pretty good base you can use to work out of. So like I said in the first video, it's uh, a lot of refinement still that goes into your artwork. 
because even if you use methods that cut down on time by a lot you still need to refine a lot of things and right now we're just refining this so we can get rid of the clipping that's happening while still maintaining the forms these forms are super important there we go yes like that bring this out a bit here as well good decent shape and just need to uh, bring in a few uh, edge groups here and there and we should be good to go press the three key We've done a lot of it and can you still see there's clipping going on if you press three because that's like the smooth view and when things are smooth they tend to push in a little bit so you have to uh, adjust that get this hard surface look out of the way is just going to mesh display and soften edge and you can still get that soft edge feel it's not you multiplying the polygons the polygons are still the same it just gives you the illusion that all those hard edges have gone away they're still there it's just a small way of getting rid of that uh, OCD that's going around. So grab all of these and screw them down to this part. So 
turn our symmetry and get that tilted view. The shirt pad what I'm going for is like this slope over here. So I'm gonna have to do just a lot of things again with the trusty sculpt brush. yourself a shirt so uh, oh yeah and another thing when you kind of zoom out you see these kind of jabbed out edges so to fix that you have this button right over here which is called anti-aliasing you turn it on you'll see that it becomes a lot more clearer and just for the sake of uh, a bit more detail if you turn on screen space ambient occlusion you can add a bit of shadows so kind of nice just to look at and do working if you want you can turn those off I um, mean they don't really impact anything just kind of nice to have those so yeah I'm gonna stop the video here and in uh, the next one might just kind of refine this a bit and move on towards another part. Let's do the glove next, or maybe the shoes or bracelet, because there's still a lot of accessories to do in the, the scarf at the top of our head. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video.